Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark O'Halla, the President and CEO for Prisma Health. And thank you very much for coming out on a, a rainy, chilly day uh, this morning to uh, help us celebrate uh, a little milestone in this ongoing COVID pandemic. I want to have a, a number of different thank yous, but I want to start off by thanking the University of South Carolina, our friends and partners, who graciously allowed us to access to this venue at Gamecock Park so that we could set up this mass vaccination site. And with us this morning is the Honorable Governor Henry McMaster and two of our uh, top uh, physicians, uh, Dr. Saria Sakosha and Dr. Rick Scott, who have been the dynamic duo as it comes to our COVID pandemic vaccination program. I wanna say that it's very important that we've been able to uh, move the vaccine on a much quicker pace. And we're at a point now where we have two very, very effective and very, very safe vaccines that we are utilizing across the state. Uh, the hospitals across the state, including Prisma, are utilizing the Pfizer vaccine. The Moderna vaccine is also available and is being utilized in those areas that it's uh, a little more difficult to get to because logistically it handles better than the Pfizer vaccine. So the good news for this morning is that we are about to administer our 100,000th dose of vaccine. And we're very excited about that opportunity. And because of, of everything that, that our team members have been doing here, um, this is a milestone that's worth celebrating. So what I'd like to do is introduce our governor, Henry McMaster, for a few comments. Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. O'Hara. Doctor, doctor, glad to be with you. Thank you for the good work. When the, when the effort started, when we mobilized to combat the virus, we depended heavily on our hospitals because they were set up and ready to go. And as, we, as the vaccine began flowing into our state, we're getting our pro rata share based on population of 18 year olds and above. And it's been coming in at about 800 in total, our allocation originally is 822,000. Now it's coming in at about 120,000 doses of both vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, a week. But we got off to a slow start. And after meeting with the hospitals, encouraging, discovering where the bottlenecks were, I can say that many of our hospitals are performing at maximum capacity and Prisma is certainly in that category. Prisma has been a leader. Prisma has numerous hospitals around our state. And the fact that they are administering what is at least their 100,000th dose is good news for South Carolina. Now, many of these doses, as Mr. O'Halla mentioned, are in, not in the hospitals. The hospitals have the freezers that go down to 158 degrees below zero, as you know. A lot of places don't have such freezers as that to keep the vaccine at its proper temperatures. That's why Moderna is going out into a lot of the other areas, including the rural areas. But we now have about 300 or so, closing in on 300, pharmacies that have the vaccine and should be administering that vaccine as quickly as the hospitals are administering the vaccine. But the pharmacies got a later start because Moderna was a little later getting here than Pfizer was, the Pfizer vaccine. But it is now time for the pharmacies to do the same thing that the hospitals done, have done, and that is kick it into gear and get every one of those vaccines in the arms of a South Carolinian before their next shipment comes in. We want them to run out, give those shots as quickly as they can, use the maximum capacity, schedule the second doses as, the, as Prisma has done. When they give the first dose, they schedule the time and place for the second dose, the same place. So we want the pharmacies and those out in the rural, more rural areas to do the same things that our hospitals are doing now. And when we get everyone operating at maximum capacity, that will be good news uh, for the people of South Carolina. You may know just in the last week that the allocations uh, have increased. 
That is, the production by Pfizer and Moderna have increased 16% over what was coming before. So we're getting about 19,000 more doses a week this uh, week than we got the week before. We're hoping to expand that. We are, are told that by March we should have even more coming in. So it is vitally important now for all of our sites and those that we will be setting up to be operating at maximum capacity, maximum speed. The hospitals, most of them, not all, but most have done a good job of getting on track. And Prisma is certainly in that top category. But we got to get our pharmacies moving and the rural health centers, because that's where a lot of people are. That is, the, that is the rest of the playing field. And we've got to get everybody out there working. So this is a great moment. This is a, quite a celebration. Uh, it is a little rainy and it's cold. But uh, I think all South Carolinians are, are warm and happy to see the National Guard, the University of South Carolina, uh, Prisma, and volunteers uh, all working together to see that we're keeping our people safe and happy for a wonderful prosperity. And thank you and congratulations to Prisma. Thank you, Governor. I appreciate it. A uh, little over two weeks ago, the Governor called me on a Friday night and he said, Mark, we're not moving fast enough. How can we move faster? And I said, well, Governor, there's help on the way because next Monday, this coming Monday, we're going to be open up two super sites for vaccine distribution. This one here at Gamecock Park, we opened another one in Greenville at uh, Kmart Plaza right across from our hospital, Greenville Memorial. And I, I told the governor when we did that, that we would dramatically improve our throughput and that the goal by the end of that week was to hit 10,000 doses given per day. And that's exactly what we got to. I, I was happy to call the governor back on Thursday uh, of that week and let him know that we had achieved our objective uh, by Thursday and Friday of that week, we were at that 10,000 dose level. I also want to comment on the fact that uh, this is a statewide effort. I want to say thank you to my colleagues at the South Carolina Hospital Association. All of my uh, health care colleagues have been doing yeoman's work, uh, and I want to make sure we recognize that this has been a team effort all across the state. I'm not going to take a huge amount of time to, to talk this morning because, frankly, the, the story is really about my team. Um, the folks who put this site together and the other super site, they did that in a week's time. Think about that. In one week's time, it went from concept and planning on the drawing board to actual implementation, which frankly, considering as you look at this site um, and, and understand the logistics that are involved in that and how we have to handle the vaccine and all the different things that we had to get accomplished, I think, was incredibly, incredibly amazing how our team was able to do all of that. And what I'd like to do now, uh, without further ado, is introduce uh, two of the people who have been really the driving forces behind everything that you see here and everything across the state as it relates to the Prisma vaccine program. Uh, I'm gonna introduce first uh, Dr. Rick Scott, who has been our point person down here at Gamecock Park, and then he's going to introduce Dr. Saria Sakosha, who uh, has been uh, navigating point for us uh, across the upstate market. So without further ado, uh, Dr. Scott, it's all yours. Thank you. Good morning. And Governor, that's certainly good news to know that there's more vaccine on the way. I know that I stand here proud of the Prisma team and all that they have done to put this site up. And and to man it, and that includes our volunteers who came from the nursing school and pharmacy school, uh, the people we pulled out of our offices and office staff, budget, accounting, lab, um, I, my administrative assistant who's working at Baptist today. Uh, it really has been a team effort, and so we're certainly very pleased and proud to have 100,000 in the arms already, and our goal is to get every drop of vaccine you give us into the arms of South Carolinians just as fast as we can. You know, the rapid expansion of uh, the groups, uh, adding the over 70 to 1A, certainly increased the demand for the vaccine. 
uh, and certainly now the supply is chasing to catch up. So 16% more is good news. And we're optimistic that the supply chain is intact as we see other vaccines coming online behind Moderna. So I think the population should be comfortable that we're gonna be able to meet their needs. I'd also like to announce this morning that Prisma Health is going to change the way we schedule vaccine and going to use our MyChart patient portal to do that. It's been a little bit clunky to use the CDC's uh, vaccine administration monitoring program. Um, everybody around the country has had some issues with it. We're all searching for the best way. Uh, but uh, beginning later today, you'll be able to have a, a vaccine appointment scheduled through your MyChart uh, and to go to our website uh, and to schedule an appointment uh, with direct access. Um, there's no doubt that moving in this direction is going to be more convenient for patients. It's going to allow us to message them uh, more quickly in real time because we know we schedule appointments weeks down the line, but we don't know weeks ahead of time how much vaccine will be arriving from the manufacturers. So the ability to communicate with people vitally important for us. Um, appointments that are already in the BAM system are going to be automatically moved into the MyChart system. So that should hopefully uh, be seamless for our patients. And individuals who don't have a MyChart account now can visit mychart.prismahealth.org, click on the sign up link on our website, or call Prisma Health at 1-833-2-PRISMA. So lots of ways into the system, and we wanna make it as easy for all South Carolinians to schedule their vaccine, regardless of whether or not they have email or internet access, we'll find a way to get them in just as we've done all along. And now I'd love to introduce uh, Dr. Surya Sakosha, my co-chair in this, who has been really leading the effort in the upstate and across the entire system. Um, she's really been a driving force, Surya. Good morning, and thank you for braving the weather today. Rain or shine, Prisma Health is indeed here to serve our communities. We are building community immunity, and this is why we are focused on fair and equitable distribution of this life-saving vaccine. This is why not only do you see our Gamecock Park site here and also our Kmart vaccination site that Mr. O'Halla mentioned just a moment ago, Today we went live in Lawrence to serve a more rural population at the Ridge, and we are thrilled that across the Midlands and the upstate, we have been able to, again, build that community immunity. When fully operational this spring, our plan calls for a total of five mobile vans deployed throughout our South Carolina regions, again, to serve those more rural areas, vulnerable pa patient populations for that equitable vaccination opportunity. These mobile units are specially outfitted mobile health clinics to help provide the vaccines to the state's rural communities. Five total, four owned by Prisma Health, and one partnership between Prisma Health and our medical school. We've received funding from Greenville County through the CARES Act for three of these mobile units in the upstate. We're also offering limited walk-in appointments for as long as daily supplies allow at several of our vaccination sites. We recognize and have embraced the challenges that our community is currently experiencing. Without lack of technology, friends, family, social support to access those appointments, we recognize that the only option is for those who show up on site and walk up or walk in to one of our vaccination sites. Updates on walk-in availability are posted on Prisma Health's website. That's www.prismahealth.org backslash, backslash vaccine or by contacting the Prisma Health call center. That's 833-2-PRISMA. That's 833-277-4762. We are so very pleased by the interest of the community to receive, again, this life-saving vaccine and we ask that people remain patient. We are passionate about getting the shot in the arms of everyone who wants one and everyone who needs one. And in order to do so, we will vaccinate as soon as that supply is ready and able. And thank you, Governor McMaster, for the opportunity to serve our communities in such a very important and purposeful way. We're ready to continue expanding those vaccine distributions, and we are grateful that you came out here today. And now, for the most important moment, serving our patients the way they deserve to be served in South Carolina, we do have our 100,000th 
patient to come forward, that vaccine to come in. And if we could have that individual come forward, and I know we'd like to hear a few words from them. One. Yes. The doctor reminded me we are emphasizing our rural areas and these mobile units that she described are going to be very important. And reminder to those 70 years old and above, come on in and get your shot because the sooner we get this population vaccinated, the sooner we can go to those 65 and older and then on to the other categories, including our teachers and a lot of others that are waiting right now. Thank you. And Mr. Barry Gray has joined us today and has stepped forward to receive his vaccination. Mr. Gray, thank you so much for being with us today. And we're going to take a moment to vaccinate Mr. Gray. And again, thank you so much for coming out today. Rain and all. Thank you all very much. Again, we appreciate you braving the elements and coming out to help us celebrate a little bit. Uh, we, haven't, uh, we haven't had a whole lot to celebrate over the course of the last 11 months. So thank you all and have a good day.